<laughs> Timber! Fire! <laughs> Hello and welcome, my name is Josh Crickmay and this is Dichrostachus cinerea, the sickle bush, also known as Landrovis wheelpopicus. This is a very interesting tree for many different reasons, however I like to focus on the fact that the leaves are said to help relieve pain from and even cure scorpion stings. So let's say this beautiful little chap gave you a bit of a sting. What you would want to do, grab some of the sickle bush leaves and chew them up. Don't taste too great, but swallow a bit of it. Apparently, cooked from the inside as well. Not too certain about that part, but it's a safety matter. And uh, get them into a nice little paste. What you do is apply that to the stung area while the scorpion goes up my armpit. And hopefully, that will hopefully relieve the pain. Sicklebush leaves. Who would know? He's getting caught with my arm here. All right, now we're in for a classic. This right here. This is a guari, and many game rangers around South Africa will tell you how it's the perfect toothbrush bush. And if you break off a piece like that, and you chew it, chew the end of it into a fun, bristly point, <laughs> spit out the bark, you get a lovely bristled end that the more you chew it, becomes a better and better toothbrush, which is perfect. You can even mix it with ash, from a leadwood tree for some toothpaste. It's brilliant stuff. What they never tell you is to not use a tree that's too close to a body of water. For this is a favored scent marking tree of a hippopotamus which does so with its feces. Do your research. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. My name is Josh Crickmay and I would like to introduce you to a tree of many names. This is the green thorn or torchwood or ngobain glovu, which means the bowing elephant, as elephants were thought to bow to the tree that they could not push over. Whereas actually they had their heads pressed up against the tree trying to knock the fruits down. We're also here for the fruits because for the other name torchwood they could be used as a fiery torch. Filled to the brim with flammable oils, the green thorn's fruits, once acquired and dried out, are said to make a very 5000 BC kind of torch. Look at that, it actually kind of works. That's the tiniest little torch I've ever seen, but it seems to actually be working. Well, actually, no, there we go, look at that. You have made fire! <laughs> this I shall defend myself from the beast to the nuts. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 